both. I was vouching for you. What happened? Today I'm doing a full face of Elf, okay? Period. We testing out Elf. This is what we look like. We doing Valentine's Day on a budget, okay? Beat face, looking real nice and tight and beautiful. All on a budget. This is all Elf. Elf, baby. Elf. Why, why, why? What is up you guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. So if you guys want to see how I use these products and what exactly I have on my face right now, stay tuned. Alright, just got to make sure I look decent and then focus real quick and then we're going to close the laptop. As y'all know, I will look at that the entire time. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into it. So first thing off rip. The first thing that I noticed is that the sponge actually, when I wet it, it's actually really soft. It expands a lot, but the dye came out a little bit. Y'all see how it's like this really nice, dark, deep fuchsia color. Yeah, when I was wetting it, the dye started coming out. So I had to wash it a few times to make sure that it all came out. It seems to be good now. I didn't really see anything. Let me see if I can show you one thing that i do after i wet my sponges is i let them sit in a paper towel until i'm ready to use them let's see if you can kind of see it it's like slightly tinted i don't know if y'all can see it. you probably can't but i'm pretty sure i got all the excess dye out i hope i did so um we're just gonna hope for the best and yeah if i look down a little bit my mirror is right in front of me so sorry about that but we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it. So I already moisturized. It is not nighttime, but I love using this night cream any time of the day. This is literally essential in my makeup routine. Like it makes all the difference, like point blank, period. I love this, but I'm really excited to get into all these e.l.f. goodies, some of the stuff that I've never tried before. So I'm really excited about that kid period we finna get real nice and cute a nice little red pinky um mauvey purplish valentine's day look period i know i had to put the wig on right quick had to stun on them right quick okay it's been a minute last time i put this wig on was in september like it's, it's been a hot minute now i'm gonna go ahead and grab my elf illuminating eye cream and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my nail and I'm just gonna put a little bit under both eyes. And I'm gonna rub this in and around the eyelid. And I'm also gonna put this on my smile lines. What I've noticed is that when I put this same eye cream on my smile lines, I don't crease there as much. So I really like that about this product. I don't know if it was marketed. I mean, I guess it makes sense because when using eye cream, it's supposed to like diminish the looks of wrinkles and all that. So I guess that makes sense for your smile lines. But that was a really like surprising note. I don't even know how I got to putting it there but I actually love it and I'm glad that I discovered that because it really does make a difference, like 100%. Let's actually start getting into the makeup. So first things first, I'm gonna do my brows. Y'all already know I use the e.l.f. Instant Brown Brow Pencil and if you watched my Ulta haul, you saw that I purchased a new one and I still have one, but I wanna use a new one just for the purpose of the video. And this, oh my gosh, can I get it out the package? This pencil is literally only $2. You get a lot of products because it doesn't really take a lot to fill in your brows, or at least what I do. And then you also get a spoolie, it's dual ended. So I love that about this. Like that shows that you can do a lot for real cheap like they're literally two dollars and it's my favorite brow pencil like i've never really liked brow pencils until i use this one i'm just gonna fill them in how i normally would uh i'm probably just going to skip through this process and then come back when i'm ready to prime my skin all right so as you can see brows are done and on and i'm not gonna lie they look pretty good today okay period Thank you, Elle, for getting it sliced right, okay? And this hair, I'm not used to having long hair in my face. So we're gonna go ahead and start priming. So two of my favorite primers from e.l.f. have to be the putty primers. I have here the matte one and the poreless one. And I'm obsessed with both of these. But y'all know, I love to mix stuff. So I'm gonna take this one. This is a blurring primer serum from e.l.f. 
we're gonna try this out today and see how that works wish me luck sis <laughs> no i'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine because i've tried a few elf primers and they're pretty good so i don't think this one would be any different i love the matte primer but y'all know i've been trying to mix like more mattifying primers with more hydrating since i use mattifying products on top of my primer so i'm gonna see if this serum will do a little bit for that and make it a little more hydrating so that's why i'm gonna mix them so i'm gonna use the poreless in my areas where i have bigger pores so basically like my t-zone so like here and it doesn't take a lot at all and it just does so good so it does kind of leave a white cast on the face but it covers up completely with a little bit of foundation a little bit of love so that's nothing that you have to be worried about i'm gonna take a little bit more i'm also gonna do over my nose and watch those pores disappear okay hunty? i look like i just put on sunscreen <laughs> Okay, it has been a minute since I used this primer and this is something that I've never really noticed but kind of like on my nose, I don't know if you can see, maybe it's just my skin but like, let me see if I can zoom y'all in really quick. So like, can y'all see that? How it's kind of like peeling? I don't think I've ever noticed that before but I'm seeing it now so it may just be my skin. I don't know but it looks almost like my nose is peeling and that ain't cute but it does feel like really blurred i don't know what that's about but let me zoom y'all back out because y'all seeing a little too many of my problems okay and i'm gonna take the mattifying one and just use this pretty much on my forehead and on my chin pat that in so i don't see the problem with the mattifying one of course it does have that white cast especially this one since this one actually is white but other than that like that one looks fine it's really just on my nose like here it's fine but on my nose it just kind of looks like it's peeling and it doesn't look all that great so we're gonna keep that in mind as we continue on and hopefully it's just kind of like covers itself up but that ain't cute hopefully it doesn't like add texture to my skin in places that like texture has never existed because oh i was vouching for you what happened but i know these were like extremely popular for a minute because they were comparing it to the tatcha silk canvas i believe that's supposed to be a really nice dupe for that so I don't know. I don't think Tatcha would have us out here looking like this, sis. But we gonna keep it moving. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this primer and add a little bit. So this is like a serum, so it has like the little tube things. I'm gonna just pick up a little bit of product. And I'm kind of known for overdoing it. This is probably way too much, but I don't know. And we're gonna, ooh, wait a minute. This feels good. Y'all know what this reminds me of? My touch and soul, no problem. That's what this reminds me of. And it feels amazing. Okay, and it's kind of drying like a little tacky. That's always a good sign. Oh yes, I love this. This is a bop. Mm. Y'all, this is really nice. This really reminds me of my no problem primer and y'all know i rave about that stuff so not this being cheaper i don't remember how much this was it's probably like around six dollars but the no problem is 18 so that's a third of the cost okay l okay hey, moving on i don't really ever do it in this order but i think today i'm gonna do my eyeshadow first and then go into the rest of my face so for my eyeshadow as far as that goes i did order an elf palette but it didn't get here and i don't know what that's about but it was one that's kind of similar to this huda oh my gosh this huda beauty powder or this huda beauty eyeshadow palette so i'm just gonna use this in replacement for it and yeah so 
I guess I'll do like the base of my eyeshadow off camera and then I'll come back and show y'all because I did get an e.l.f. eyeshadow products and I'll show y'all that, me using that. But I'm just going to start off my eyeshadow off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys how that product works. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright, so here's where we are so far. Let me zoom in. <laughs> Here's where we are so far with the eyes, and oh my gosh, I'm loving how it's lit again. I can't really give a review on this so far because these are Huda Beauty products, they're not e.l.f., but I'm loving how it's looking. This is the eyeshadow that I got. It's like a shimmer, it's a liquid glitter eyeshadow in Flirty Birdie, so I'm really excited to see how this looks on the eyes. These remind me of like the Stila ones that were super popular a while back. So now I'm just really excited to see what this looks like, okay? So here's what it looks like. It's a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but I guess that makes sense. I'm gonna give y'all a little swatchy swatch, but you open it, I love this packaging, first of all, the clear with the white top. It just looks really clean, and I love that. And so you twist it off. It has a really nice section. And it just has like that same kind of like paddle type applicator, almost like a lip applicator. Almost like a lip product applicator. It looks really pretty though. Look at how that light hits that. So let me see what this look like, okay? Let me swatch it right quick for y'all. Shut up. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be using this all the time. Are you joking? Okay, so it looks like it's like a shimmery base, but then there's like literal glitter in it. Look at how that light hits that. Oh my gosh. It looks good on camera, but it definitely looks better in person. I'm kind of scared because I like how my eyeshadow looks right now, and if this messes it up, I'm gonna be kind of mad. Not gonna lie. Okay. Okay. That's really pretty. For a second, it wasn't like picking up like it did on my hand, but that looks really pretty now. Nice, I guess you kind of have to like build it. That looks really pretty. I'm sorry, I gotta say it. I love this. I love e.l.f. period, point blank, period. Am I biased? Maybe just a little bit. But I've never tried this out before or any of their shades and I really wanted to get all of them. There was like literally like 12 of them and I wanted to get every single shade. But I was like, what if it's not good? Let me chill out. Okay, it's inexpensive, but like $6 times 12, that kind of add up a little bit. So, and it dries down and look at that. It ain't moving. Her, period okay I'm excited about this I'm definitely gonna get my fair use out of it that is really pretty and this is in the shade again flirty birdie so now I'm just gonna blend it back into the eyeshadow look Let's just do a few little, few little touch-ups that is so pretty am I tripping I don't got my glasses on but no that is Gorgeous. Am I out of focus? Was I out of focus that whole time? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting better, but oh my gosh, this is pretty. This is so pretty. I, like, my eyelids literally look wet. Look at that. Y'all, go get you one of these. These are cute. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. So now I'm just going to do a cute little baby wing off the camera and then I'm gonna throw on some lashes and I'll come back and we can get into this face, okay honey? Get into the face, get in so it. But I love this. Oh I love it. This is cute. Mmm. Pop off the elf okay period. Okay, so lashes and mascara are on. This is what we're looking like. This is cute. I'm obsessed. I also, off camera, I went ahead and put on my foundation since I couldn't find an e.l.f. foundation that matched my skin tone in Iolta, so sorry about that. I just put on my Maybelline Fit Me so we stayed inexpensive and I love the way that this foundation sits on top of those primers. It actually looks really, really good on the skin. 
and is this gonna be my new combination like what i don't really see any texture on my nose so that's a good thing because y'all know before it was kind of like crumbling and looking just real real nasty okay but it got it together and it looks amazing like flawless like my skin looks airbrushed that's how good it looks i love it i also did not use the sponge because I wanted to wait to do this on camera. Oh, not my eyeshadow matching the sponge. Okay, period. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the concealer with the sponge. So I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Now I've used this before. Y'all already know how I feel about this concealer, but this is not my normal shade. So we're gonna see how that works out. Here it is compared to my normal shade. It's like a little bit darker, but it's a little, on the pinky side as well so we're gonna see okay there we go so now i'm gonna take this this is in the shade deep cinnamon and my normal shade is deep caramel and i do use this to highlight with not really to conceal you're gonna see what it looks like it's a bit darker so i think i can get away with using it by itself Just off rip, like this concealer is just everything. The consistency, the coverage, like this is comparable to like a high end concealer. Like you are just by looking at it, you already know you're gonna get some nice coverage from it. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's literally like that perfect medium. Okay, so now that we have the concealer on, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my e.l.f. sponge. This is called the Total Face Sponge. You're supposedly supposed to be able to use it wet or dry, but I'm gonna just use it wet because that's what I use, I'm used to. But this is actually really big and really squishy. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. It's got some bounce to it, some spring to it, okay. So, I feel really bad for using this because it's so pretty. Like this color, but let's go ahead and see. Well, I like this shade on me. Okay. I was getting pretty worried for a second, but I like it. I like this sponge too. It's really soft. It's like different from any other sponge that I've tried. It's really like airy. I don't know how to explain that. Like how do I explain this? It just feels really light and like, I don't know, it's really soft. I think it was definitely worth the hype and I'm kind of mad that I didn't hop onto the wave a little bit sooner, but I'm glad I did now because this is a really nice sponge. This might be better than my Sony Cash Up. And y'all know how I feel about my Sony Cash Up. Shook. <laughs> It's really nice and I like how squishy it is because you can really like pinch it to get it super small and get in really tight in there, which I really like. But aside from the sponge right quick, y'all look at this concealer. Sheesh. And y'all say freaking shape tape is good. No, this is amazing. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more though. That's one thing I will say with the sponge being so light and fluffy, I feel like it'll absorb a lot more products than a normal one. And that's one thing, but other than that, like it blends out really beautifully and it just feels really nice on the skin. Like it doesn't feel, I don't really know how to explain this sponge, but it's good. Like it's not bad at all. It's kind of hard to mess up a sponge nowadays. Like everyone kind of knows what a sponge can feel like. And I think like all of the new sponges have been decent. Everyone has their favorite, but they're all pretty good now. I love that. But I could use a little bit of brightness, just a little bit lighter. So I'm actually just gonna take, I have like a tiny bit of my normal shade left. I'm just gonna take a little bit and pop that in the inner corner. Oh, there we go, that did it. Okay, pop off sis, period. Here we eat. Final verdict on the sponge. I might just have to say it. I think it's better than my Sony Kasha. This might just be my new favorite, period. All right, so here we go. We're looking real nice and snatched under the eye. And I'm gonna take this e.l.f. 
foundation palette and I'm actually gonna use it as a cream bronzer. I'm gonna grab Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush and I'm gonna use a mix of these two shades here and start to kind of map out where I want it. This product is really creamy, so it blends out beautifully. Like already, it's starting to blend out. And I like to place it low and then blend upwards. Personally, that's what I like to do with creams. I'm just gonna take that sponge and start blending over top of that just to make sure everything blends together smoothly. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna start setting. So I did actually pick up this e.l.f. HD powder and it's a soft luminous powder. It's supposed to be good for every skin shade. So I'm kind of nervous to try this out because as you guys can see, it's kind of peachy, but we're gonna see. High definition loose powder creates soft focus effect on the skin, helps mask fine lines and imperfections for a radiant looking complexion. So we're gonna try this out and see if it actually stands to be true. Y'all, I'm really nervous to use this because right now my face is looking pretty good. And oh, it's not as peachy as the packaging made it look, but it still definitely has like a peachy tone. So that makes me a little less nervous. Let me take off this plastic while it's on. It does have a nice little like turn cap. So I think that's really nice because normally with powders, you open it and then powder can go everywhere, but you can actually like seal it off so that it doesn't come out. And so you don't have to worry about that. My gosh, did they put this on here with Gorilla Glue? There we go. Ooh. Oh, I was scared. Um, the woman at Ulta actually said that she liked this powder, which is why I kind of was like, okay, let me try it out. But it actually has like some type of shimmer in it. <gasps> that did not just happen. As soon as I got it open, as long as it took me to get it open, there was so many chances for it to spill. And it literally just... <sighs> but while I'm here... Ew, I just got it in my mouth. Ugh. I don't know if y'all can see. It kind of has like a shimmer in it. There, it's literally everywhere. Oh my gosh. It's There's literally powder everywhere. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna clean that up in a minute. Now, and I was just saying how like it makes it easier to like not spill and everything because you can close it and I dropped it. Anyways, I actually don't like using sponges to set under my eye. It literally got on my glasses. Well, wow. I don't like using sponges to set under my eye or really anywhere on my face. So I'm actually going to grab a brush. This is the Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm going to use this to apply the powder under my eyes. So I'm actually going to blend out under my eyes one last time so that we don't set any creases. And then I'm going to use the cap. I'm going to pour some of the powder out into the cap and then close it. And now I'm going to take a little bit on this brush to start to set. Oh, it's really shimmery. Oh my gosh. Off rip. Off rip, you going to do it like that? Oh my gosh. Oh no. I don't think this is it, child. Can y'all see? Okay, so, so far I do have a little bit on my face to like kind of set, but so far one thing I like about this powder is that it's really finely milled, so it really just kind of melts into the skin, which is really nice and it's not like noticeable, but I don't know, the shimmer, I feel like I just put like highlighter on my face. Can y'all see? I guess you can't really see. Actually, wait, this might be good. <laughs> Looking at it. I don't know. I have mixed feelings now. I don't know how to feel about it. Y'all can see that though, right? Yeah, it's like, like I took a little bit of like pixie dust or some shit and put it all over my face. But the powder itself, like without the shimmer, I think is really nice. 
I like the way that I haven't like bronzed on my forehead yet so it, that that's gonna get blended in a second the powder itself actually looks really nice I don't I just don't know how I feel about the shimmer like maybe if it didn't have the shimmer I would like it a bit more it's not terrible I don't know I have mixed feelings maybe it's just the light that's making it reflect so much too but I'm just taking like a clean like powder brush and dusting off the excess now so it doesn't really leave a cast which I like I was kind of worried about that once I put it onto the skin it kind of looks white um, but dusting it off there's no cast left so that's good I really don't know how I feel about it oh I think after dusting it off though too it's not really even as shimmering I have mixed feelings, I don't know. Ugh. I feel like if it just didn't have the shimmer, I would like it like a lot better. But right now, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. It's not terrible, but it's not like, holy shit, like this is it. Like, it's not like that. Let's carry on. I'm gonna go ahead and set that cream bronzer and also apply some blush off the camera and then I'll come back to do the lips my rep came off so i had to fix that so off the camera though i went ahead and put on my bronzer i also put on a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlighter and now we're back to do the lips so i just lined my lips very lightly with a brown lip liner and now i'm just going to use this elf lip plumping gloss in the shade mocha twist if i can get it open now because so, it looks like it's a really pretty shade and I think it'll look really nice with this look and ooh, I like how it's clear the little tube and then it has a really nice ooh, it smells really good oh my gosh it smells really good it smells like cupcakey like vanilla mm. oh this is pretty I love this mm. this is gonna be my go-to gloss now Oh, if you don't know what you do with this one. And it is a plumping gloss. And one thing that I don't like about plumping glosses is that sometimes they're a little too harsh with like the mint type, like tingly feel. But this one's like really subtle. It's a really, not really thick, but it's like a nice thickness of a gloss. And I really like that. Mm. But it does, the color looks a little weird with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go off camera and do a, a few little finishing touches. Get my hair together. Get my outfit looking right. Okay, period. And we're going to come back with the final verdict. Mm, but this is good. This is cute. I like this. I like this though. I'm going to have to get some more. All right, you guys. So I am back. Hair is done. Makeup is fine. Outfit is changed. We're looking real cute. We can go out to Valentine's Day dinner but this is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i really liked pretty much every single thing in this video like i kind of did that and i kind of like the powder i'm not gonna lie it grew on me it definitely grew on me but oh i forgot one thing we're gonna set our face right quick i'm just gonna grab this elf glow dewy mist spray just a little bit and there we go boom but that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next, what brand you guys want to see a full face of. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.